everybody. Welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy and today is Tutorial Tuesday and I have another wire wrapping project uh, based on some requests that I will show you um, and we're going to use the very exciting Winter Wonderland mix from Bargain Beadbox that we just got that I did an unboxing for. I thought it'd be fun to crack this open and start working on it. So today we are going to make a necklace component. Uh, this will be part one. Part two will do the actual necklace. Part two will be next week. Um, I don't want to keep you super long. I like to make the videos short. Uh, so this will be a two part. The main component being the wire component that a lot of you like that I've learned from Sarah Lovecraft that I've played around with. And once you learn how to make this, the, you can just do so many different things and I really encourage you to play with it. Um, and then I just pulled some beads from the Winter Wonderland I thought would be cute to kind of wrap on here. So we're gonna need, you're gonna need 18 gauge wire or you can use 16. I happen to have 18 gauge silver wire and then I also have some 24 gauge wire in silver for my wire wrapping. Um, this is the component we'll be making. So we'll just hold this off to the side here. And then I picked out some beads I thought would be fun to wrap on that. Uh, you are going to need the medium bale pliers. You're going to use both both rounds. Uh, a wire straightener type thing if you have one. If not, you can hand warm this. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you can just hand warm it and um, cut you a piece of this 18 gauge wire and it's going to be 7 inches long. So we've got that already measured out. And then of course your nippers. And I like to uh, just point out, do make sure that your ends are flush. Sometimes when you use the nippers, you'll get that, like a point. Just go through here and, and use the flush side of your flush cutters, which is this side, so that everything is flush. So we're gonna make the component first. And so I was just hand warming this a little while ago. And um, you can take these nylon jaw straighteners and you can just run them, run it this way to kind of get the, kind of the kinks out. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to get it as straight as you can. And then, um, once you feel like you've got it straight enough, you're going to take your your bail making pliers. You're going to take the smaller of the two barrels, so this one, and you're going to come in and you don't want your wire to poke out. You don't want to feel that. And then you just want to twist like this. until it touches like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And this is very simple. Just make sure that they're, they match up. Okay, now we have a straight piece of wire with two loops at the end. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the larger of our bale. We're going to turn our wire so that the loops are facing down and we're going to slide right next to that loop. And you're going to bend this all the way around. And then you're going to slide that off and now you have 
looks like a hook. I'm going to do the same thing. Put it right next to that loop. You're going to bend. And now you have this. Looks like a little sled. Looks like skis or a sled, kind of. And you can honestly leave it like this if you wanted to do something. Now to get this curve, let me tell you, this is real complicated. Hardy har, I'm kidding. I literally took this spool, <laughs> which my wire was on, and I took my little component that I made and I just bent it gently. So, you know, use what you have in the house. Look at that. Now here's what's fun. So as you learn to make these components, I encourage you to play with loops, try different bends. That's what I've been doing. And you can make smaller loops and hang them you know, like this was seven inches. You could make one five inches. So it nestles in there. And then one that's three inches. You can attach them this way with some wire and frame something. You can take your pliers and run it through again and make another little loop to hang something. So once you've got this basic shape down, sky's the limit. And literally learning this and a few other little techniques, I just play around. I just take, I'll take a bunch of wire and I'll take the pliers and I'll try different shape loops in different spots. And that's how you come up with some really cool components. So I wanted to show you this basic one because this is pretty much a jumping off point. Now, because we're going to do some wire wrapping uh, I'm not going to worry. I, you actually do want some space between your little loop here and this piece. You can wire wrap this way if you want. You can do straight. You can hang a dangle. You can hang things here. You can turn this upside down, make another loop, pull that out. I mean, there's just so much you can do with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this down. And how I get started, if I want to wrap beads on it, I literally lay them out. So I really love these, what they call the um, snowflake beads or what I call them. And then I loved these coin beads. And then I loved these rondelles, of course. And you just want them to fit. Now the rondelles will kind of be sideways. So I'm thinking I might be able to fit more than one. I mean, more than three. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, so do have extra out. Sometimes you got a little more room than you think. And then for the loops, I thought it'd be cool to take, these are the toggle components, but we're not gonna use them for toggles today. We're gonna make drops out of them. And we're gonna hang our, a bicone and a bead and a snowflake. So that's going to be our, our dangles hanging down. So what we will do first, I think we'll make the dangles first and I'm just going to use some head pins or some round, let's see, some round ended you know, the ball head, ball head pins. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> took me a second to think about what I was talking about. It's been a long day today. I had such a nice vacation last week and um, uh, it's been a rude awakening back into the work atmosphere. I came back to just a ton, and I do mean ton of emails. It was very, very stressful to look at. <laughs> like, I want to go make jewelry. Anyway. 
Uh, but we have to pay for the beads somehow, don't we? All right, so I'm gonna just make our, you know, our normal loops that we do and um, attach to these components here. And so I'm just gonna do a stack, just a simple stack. Um, these are my ball head pins. And I'm just gonna take one of these really cute snowflakes and this beautiful gemstone bead. I'm trying to remember what gemstone that is. Quartz, I think. It's a beautiful color. Another little, and then one of those bicones. Sparkly bicone. And then we'll just, I'm not gonna attach these yet, but I am gonna make them so that they're ready to go. So just a basic wire wrapped loop. And you don't need to leave the worry about uh, leave. Oh, yes, we do. I was going to say, you don't need to worry about leaving that open, but you do. Because we're going to attach it to this guy right here. And look, you could, you could hang it that way, too. Or this way. You know, that's designer's choice. I'm going to hang it this way. And then I'm going to wrap this. We'll do a messy wrap. I hope that you'll play with this wire. I, I really, it's very fun. Once you get going, you don't want to stop making shapes. And then I also encourage you to write down what sizes you're using. Cause as I was playing, I wasn't doing that in the beginning. And then I would forget I forget also what size and not only that, but the steps. So do write down your steps and your sizes. That's just a helpful hint from Heloise because I didn't do that in the beginning and I'm still trying to figure out how I made certain things <laughs> and I'm sure I'll get there, but um, I had wished I'd taken a little better notes. Who knew you'd have to take notes making jewelry, huh? Well, you do if you're going to try new stuff and then try to remember what you did. <laughs> All right. Let's do this one. And I love these components, too, because they add so much interest. And you can just play around and, you you know, put things together and make you really, you know, really make it a piece yours. And um, just with some simple wire techniques, you, you know, nothing, you know, I, I know we all see those really elaborate pieces people come out with that are so astounding, uh, but they had to start somewhere too. So don't be intimidated, uh, give it a whirl. I think you'll find that it's really it's quite fun and satisfying to just kind of mix and match and play around with a lot of the shapes. Okay, so I've got my, oh, look what I did. So I shut this, that's okay. If you do that, you know what you're gonna do? You're just gonna come in and you're gonna use a jump ring. No big whoop. So if you're like me and you don't want to start over, I'll probably, you know, I'll pick one or the other. I'll have to redo one of them, obviously. But um, we might like the movement on this better. In fact, that may be better with the jump ring. Let's just see. Trial and error and mistakes. You learn from them, they get you where you're gonna go. So, so that's gonna hang lower, you know, if you use the jump ring. 
When we get to that point, I'll decide which one I like. But don't despair if you <laughs> get to yapping like I did and you forget you're doing your loop. Anyway, we're going to put these to the side because what we're going to do right now is we're going to attach these beads to this wire right here. So what we're going to do is, and we're going to do some more wrapping. So you want to take, I would say maybe 15 inches, 15. I'm off camera, but I'm getting about 15 inches worth of this wire. Just, this is the 24 gauge. And so this is the, the 24, or you can use 26. Um, the 26 is going to be thinner. And um, I wouldn't go higher than 22. I mean, lower than 22 because the wire is going to be too stiff for you to do any kind of wrapping. And then I'm just going to warm it a little. Okay, and now we're going to do our little wire wrapping. So I just take one end and I string my beads on in the order I want them. We had them laid out the way I was thinking of it. We'll see how it turns out. That beautiful coin bead. I really do love this with the etching on it. Then we'll do this guy. Okay, so then we're going to see if this fits. So I'm just going to, and I've decided I'm not going to go this way. Now you could go this way if you wanted. You know, that's up to you how you want to wrap it. Uh, I just kind of think I want it to follow the curve. And I think that is going to look very nice. So you want the beads to fit in there. And um, you also need enough room at the beginning. So we're gonna slide these down to start our wrap. So we're gonna slide these down and we're gonna take our component and we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of wrapping here. And that's why you want these to stay open so you can get through there. I'll show you what I mean. So you're going to take the wire and you're going to slide it in. Now, another thing you can do is attach both of these with the wire. See how I'm pushing these together? That's what I think I might do. So if that's the case, you're going to need this loop to open so you can wrap around it. If you didn't want to do that, you don't have to. You're going to wrap around this way. But I'm going to open this up and you'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'm going to take this wire right here. And I'm going to pinch these together. So they're closer. Can you see that? And now we're going to start wrapping. And you need that open space so you can wrap very gently around. Okay. I'm going to do like four or five there. And then I'm going to maybe come through and do one more on this side. And take your time because then you don't want your wire to kink up on you. Just do some nice tight coils. And then you're going to slide your beads down. Okay. Maybe go back through there. So I've got 
Okay, so now my wire is coming up and I've got beads that I'm gonna just slide into place. And this is where it helps to have a nice long piece because you're gonna try to mold this along your component, just like that. Ah, we're gonna need to open this side too. Let's just open that a little. So now that's open, so you can get in there with the wire, just like that. And you're gonna do some more very, and you know, push it down with your thumb and finger. You want them to be right next to each other, these coils, and take your time. And don't worry if things look a little off kilter now. They're going to tighten up as we, as we go. Another little, let's see, I think I did about six wraps on that side. So we'll do the same on this side. So easy does it. Take your time. As you get used to this, you'll you'll get a feel for the tension. Okay. So now we have this. Lots of extra wire. That's fine. I'm going to just move this little tail out of the way. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to come back through here. We're going to get closer to our beads and we're going to anchor them. So what do I mean by anchor? They're kind of hanging out right now, floating about and they're not really adhered to this wire. So we're going to go through each little section of bead. We're going to take our wire and we're going to cross through each bead and go through the component. This adds a nice little texture. I think it's pretty and um, it holds your beads in place. Now you can move this around and judge it how you want it. And yes, judge is a technical term. And if you have to spin this around to get to the other side, depending on if you're, you know, right-handed or left-handed, one or the other is going to be more comfortable for you. But as you can see, I'm just wrapping this around the bead and around the form that we made so that we're anchoring those beads into place. All right, now, I still have quite a bit of wire. I could go back through here. That is designer's choice. If you want more wire showing, you can do that or not. Um, that's totally up to you. I like it with several bunches of wire. I like that look. All right. And that's really, I mean, that didn't take very much time. And look how pretty. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to clean our, our little areas up here. So we're going to want to snip um, this wire and I like to try to get inside here where it's not going to poke somebody so I'll probably pull this through here just like this let me get close to the camera and so right inside there I'm going to nip this And then I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and push down on that little tail so it doesn't go anywhere. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to push this through. right 
inside here we're gonna snip it and then we're gonna take our pliers and fold that down There's our component, guys. Turned out nice, didn't it? Just give yourself time. Go slow. Don't be in a hurry. And uh, now what we can do, we've got these little areas open. <coughs> Pardon me. We can hang our dangles. However, uh, we are going to need, <clears throat> pardon me, we are going to need a jump ring because if you try to put it on this way, I'll just show you. <coughs> wow. Something's got my throat in a tangle. <clears throat> Forgive me for just a moment. I will be back. Let me get my throat under control. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> wow. Anyway, as you can see, this does not hang right. So, no big deal. We have jump rings for this. So, I'm going to open that up a little. And, like I said before, we had to um, add a jump ring to this one. I think I am going to like that look, so I'm not going to do it on camera, but off camera, I will make the other side the same way. And I noticed that this jump ring is not all the way closed. Okay, so we're going to add another jump ring to this. So let me grab one. Just gonna open, put our jump ring, close. And then you can slide it on your, then we're going to shut the, that little opening we made. We'll just wiggle this shut. Okay. And there's your dangle. Neat. Let me scooch in a little. You can see. So you make your components. And then you lay your beads out and you get enough wire to write wire wrap and decide where you're going to connect it so you have openings. And then you can go back around with the wire. I just think that's so neat. It's very sparkly. I love those. So this is the Winter, Wonder, Winter Wonderland um, bargain bead box, which I couldn't wait to dive into. And I thought, you know, I should we should really do that for Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, since we're doing wire components, everyone's been asking how I make those. And um, this is the basic, I know we did earrings last week, but this is the basic component. And like I say, I learned that from Sarah Lovecraft. And then I just, on my own, been playing and making all kinds of different components and things. And I've been looking at magazines and other, you know, for other techniques to kind of mix with these. Um, and here's also what's cool. Like if you didn't want to, you could string beads, of course, but you could also do, look at that pretty uh, suede lace. So you could literally just make this component and um, <clears throat> add your suede lace or silk. Silk would be pretty. Some sari fabric, if you have sari fabric. You know, and just do like a very basic 
but pretty textured, very wintry looking. I like the way that picks the blues up. Anyway, so I think next week what we'll do, we'll do a beaded. I'm going to show you how I add a beaded chain to this. Um, this by far is the most intricate part of the necklace, but um, I do have a few ways that I attach things that might help you and do play with this shape. I think there's just a myriad of possibilities. I'll just show you a really quick something I also like to do, like with the, these are the smaller of the bales. And since we've already made this component, I also like to take it, oops, let me back back out. Whew, okay. I also like to take it like this and watch what happens. This is what I mean by play. Check that component out. Now you have a whole, something totally different. Maybe you want to stack them. And do some layers. Maybe you want to make a heart. I've done that before. And I've wire wrapped around here. So, like I said, once you have that basic shape, maybe we could squish these down a little more. Hang something else, maybe some chain from here and do another pendant or scooch it down like this. Just doing that one shape, moving it in different ways will get you to many, many cool places when it comes to making your, your own wire focal. So I have Sarah Lovecraft to thank for that because I she has captured my imagination with the whole wire wrap thing. And... Um, I've gone to town with it. So you should too. I would love to see or hear about some experiments. Um, give it a try. I think you'll be happy. I think it'll add, add a whole new dimension to your jewelry making. And um, I certainly love doing things like this. And so you will obviously be seeing more of those type of things for me on my finished jewelry. And by all means, have at it. It's uh, it's just wire. I mean, if you don't like it, you know, you start over, you try something new. Um, but do play. That's that's the fun of it. So anyway, thank you for uh, watching this tutorial Tuesday. It was a fun one. I hope that uh, I inspired you to try something new and to play around with some of your wire. And, you know, don't stop there. Mix your colors. Mix your shapes. Mix. Add some macrame. Add some, you know, suede lace. Add some yarn. Anyway, uh, I guess I could go on and on. <laughs> uh, do take notes, though, when you're playing around so you don't forget what you did. That's the only advice I have for you. Otherwise, have at it. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, like and subscribe if you know somebody that would like my channel please let them know I'm trying to grow the channel and uh, I would love to have them if you're not subscribed please come on join us uh, have, we're having a good time on this channel learning new things trying new things getting inspired lots of beautiful jewelry beautiful um, unboxings bead hauls tutorials etc etc so the more the merrier as always be safe take care of your families and i will see you on the next video